So, I saw this come up on the news. I had to make a video. Dr. Ben Benoulis here. So the president of the American Heart Association had a heart attack. Thankfully, he didn't die at the American Heart Association conference in Southern California just recently. And the irony is lost on no one, of course. And so it, it's, I, it just baffles me that um, this continues to go on, that uh, it's, it's frustrating for me, I should say. It doesn't baffle me. I understand why, what's going on. But these cardiologists who are supposedly the experts in heart disease and they have all these like, you know, machines and bells and whistles and ultrasounds and angiograms and all this technology, $150,000 heart surgeries, and yet they have a big problem on their hands. Why? Because heart disease is still the number one killer of Americans. And uh, it wasn't always this way. Um, in the 1900s, the leading cause of death was diarrhea. Not a pleasant way to go, but heart attacks aren't that great either. And so, what I essentially want to get across in this video is that the way we're trying to treat heart disease is not working, and a lot of the cardiologists aren't getting it, unfortunately. Okay, I'm not a cardiologist, I'm a chiropractor, but I am knowledgeable in cardiovascular conditions, and I have helped patients lower their blood pressure naturally, lower their cholesterol naturally, and greatly lower their uh, risk of dying from a cardiac event without drugs or surgery. And the reason I take that approach is not because I can't perform drugs, uh, <laughs> prescribe drugs or perform surgery. Even if I could, I wouldn't do that approach because it's just not as effective as changes to diet and lifestyle. And we've seen that things like the EPIC study, the China study, Caldwell Esselstyn's clinical trials. We've seen that a whole food plant-based diet is the number one most effective way and safest way to reduce your risk of cardiac mortality. So not only do the numbers go down in the lab work, but your risk of death actually goes down. You lose weight, you actually get well. And so, and this is not like, there are, there are cardiologists that do this, like Caldwell Esselstyn. In fact, uh, Dr. Kim Williams, great guy, just listened to his episode on the Ritual podcast, which I'll put a link down below because it was fantastic. He was the former president of the American Cardi College of Cardiology, which is not exactly the same thing as the American Heart Association, but it's a group of cardiologists. And he said famously, there are two types of cardiologists, vegans and those who haven't read the research. So John Warner, I, I implore you to read the research about plant-based diets. Look into Caldwell Esselstyn, look into Dean Ornish, look into the China study, the EPIC study. The data is there. We can not only prevent, but we can reverse heart disease. You can see before and after angiograms in Caldwell Esselstyn's study of um, people who had blockages in their coronary artery, and then after some time on the diet, it went away. So, it, heart disease is essentially, should be a non-issue. Nobody should be dying from it, practically. Definitely shouldn't be the number one cause of death. We have the ability to prevent it. We have the ability to reverse it through diet and lifestyle. It can be done. It's not a drug or a surgery. So your cardiologists aren't gonna make nearly as much money doing it, but it'll save lives. So then you have to essentially have to ask yourself, do I want to like make a big bunch of money, think I'm a hot shot, you know, cutting people's hearts open for 150 grand a pop, or do I actually want to get people well? And uh, you know, I understand that the cardiologist egos are at stake for the most part, and you know, that's how they make their money. And Car uh, Kim Williams said that uh, the best thing cardiologists could do is put themselves out of business. So this is an attack on cardiologists. I just want to point you guys to some data because people are dying, okay? And so I understand you guys got a lot of fancy toys and you know things that uh, machines that go beep and you know nuclear imaging and angiograms and fancy stuff. And uh, I hate to say it, but um, this, the solution is so much more simple. So I mean, I can understand. It's like you really you're a cardiologist and you're dying of heart disease. It's pretty much evidence that what you're doing isn't working. So if you want to try something that actually works, and I can put you in touch with clinicians who do it all the time. You put you in touch with plenty of data. It's reversible. So if you want to learn more, if this is enticing to you and you're like, hey, I don't want to die of a heart attack. Like, <laughs> I don't want to have a heart attack like John Warner. I made a free guide to a uh, whole food plant-based diet. It's really simple stuff, guys. It's not, it's not heart surgery. It's not brain surgery. It's eating what's up when you see <laughs> fruits, vegetables, whole grains, legumes with no processed food, no oil, no salt, no sugar and no or minimal animal products. So that's all there is to it. You can check out the free guide. I put a link down below. You sign up for my email list. 
you get the free guide chock full of great information. Send me an email, tell me what you think. And if you guys could uh, like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I will catch you guys next video. Thanks for watching.